for the last few weeks, I've been testing the HP Elite X2 1011 G1, which is a two-in-one hybrid computer. This can be used as both a tablet and a notebook-style laptop. The system specifications are, it's a Intel Core M processor running at 1.2 GHz, that's a 4 meg cache and two cores. But this can be boosted to 2.9 GHz using Intel's Turbo Boost technology. It has 8 GB of DDR3 1600 MHz SD RAM memory. It has a 128 GB SSD hard drive. And it also has Intel's tri-band wireless connectivity, which covers the standards A, B, G, N, and also the new AC, as well as uh, Bluetooth 4. The screen is 11.6 inch diagonal, ultra slim, LED backlit touchscreen with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. This is protected using Corning's Gorilla Glass 3, which would give it a decent level of protection from scratches. On the back of the tablet, you're going to find micro SD and SIM card slots, allowing for additional storage and 4G internet connectivity, which I found to work really well. A small stylus can be found at the bottom right hand corner of the tablet. This is one of the best I've tested. It's very precise with little latency and very smooth. I really like the smaller styluses on the tablets. Unlike many of the other styluses, this one only has a single button and doesn't require a battery. Uh, some of the positives on this machine, I found that it's really robust, especially the screen to keyboard connector and hinge. It has two batteries, one in the tablet and one in the keyboard, which I think is a very good idea, although this does add to the overall weight. Some of the cons of this machine, well it is quite heavy at around 1.5 kilos for both the keyboard and the tablet, although the tablet alone weighs in around about 7 to 800 grams, which isn't too bad. The touchpad does take a while to get used to, um, I do prefer buttons on my touchpads. And this machine is quite expensive at around about £1,300 at the time of making this video. That pretty much concludes this review, thanks for watching.